today's video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the new lane line extraction feature that is available in Trimbo Business Center version 5.60. This latest feature can be accessed under the Point Cloud tab and within the Extract Feature command in the Deliverable section of the ribbon. Line extraction requires a Trimble Business Center advanced with scanning or surveying and mapping subscription license. Select Extract Line Feature to open the command pane. Inside the Extract Line Feature command pane, select the drop down arrow under Extraction Type and select Lane Line Markings. Lane Line Extraction is intensity based and therefore the graphical view will automatically change to a grayscale intensity when selected. In the line settings, we can define a line name, layer, style, and color for our selected line extraction type. In TBC version 5.60, there are three different line types that can be extracted, solid single, solid double, and dashed line types. As stated earlier, the extraction process is based on point cloud intensity, and therefore, each extraction type has certain requirements for proper extraction. For more information, see Extract Lane Line Marking Features from a Point Cloud in the TBC Help menu. In this project, we set up different layers to match the different lane line types. Let's first extract a single solid white line. Select in the Line Point field, and then select the starting point on which you want to begin the extraction. TBC will automatically generate the correct intensity for this line and show an error in the direction of extraction. If we want to extract the line in the opposite direction, simply select the Switch Direction option near the bottom of the command pane. Within our advanced settings, we have the option to adjust intensity threshold, change the maximum interval at which the nodes will be created along the line, and the option to create feature coded points. Single solid and single double lines will create points at the user-defined intervals, while dash lines will create points at the beginning and end of each dash. We'll leave this option unchecked for our first extraction. Select Extract at the bottom of the command pane to begin the extraction. The extraction will stop when it reaches the end of the line, a gap in the point cloud, intensity changes, or by manually selecting the stop option within the command pane. Here the extraction stopped due to a gap in the point cloud. We now have the option to manually select the next point or points along the line to continue the extraction. Under Manual Selection, click in the selected field and select the line on the other side of the gap. Within the Manual Selection, we have the option to create intermediate points between the last extracted point and the Manual Selection, an option to specify a buffer value which specifies the area where the extraction process will be searching for the lane line markings, and a snap to center option that will snap the mainly selected points and intermediate points to the center of the line within the buffer search area. Once you're happy with the selected point, it's important to remember to select Add Segments to add the manually selected points to the extraction. Once the segments have been added, select Extract to continue the automatic extraction. Here the extraction is stopped as it's reached the end of the solid line at a transition to a dashed line. Select Create Line to create our line and move to the next extraction. Now we'll look at extracting a dashed lane line. We'll first change our layer for this extraction to dashed white line to maintain the correct properties of the line. The lane line type field change the lane line type from solid single to dashed. Select in the first dash field under extraction and select the first dash followed by the second dash in the graphical view as shown here. For this extraction, we'll create feature coded points which will be created at the beginning and end of each dash. We'll leave our starting point ID as one and our layer on the default setting for points. Once we've entered in our corresponding feature code, select Extract to begin the extraction. 
The extraction will stop when the dashed line ends. There's a transition to another line type when the intensity changes or we reach the end of our project area. Once the extraction stops, select Create Lines and Points to end the extraction and create the line and points. It's important to note that points will only be created at the beginning and end of each dash during the automatic dashed line extraction. Manual extraction will only create points at the manually selected sections of the dash. Now we'll look at extracting a double solid lane line. In the lane line type field, change the lane line type from dashed to solid double. We'll change our layer for this extraction to double yellow lane line to maintain the correct properties of the line. The double solid lane line will create the nodes and line string in the center of the double line. Our line style here is set up for a double line. Therefore, we will leave the option to create points selected to better view the actual location of the extracted line nodes. Click in the line point field and select the double solid line for extraction. If necessary, select switch direction to change the direction of the extraction. Enter the corresponding feature code and select extract to begin the extraction. If the extraction stops at the incorrect location or has deviated from the lane line, we have the option to undo each segment interval and use the manual selection to correct the extraction. As you can see here, the last segment of our line has deviated from the center of our double lane line. We can select undo to remove the last segment and use the manual selection to correct the line segment. Additionally, we have the option to undo the incorrect segment as shown, create the line, and manually extend the last node of the line string to its correct location. To do this, simply select the line string and drag the last node the correct location on the lane line. I want to thank everyone for joining us today, and I hope this latest lane line extraction feature helps you in one of your upcoming field to finish workflows.